Fifty years after it was sunk during the invasion of Norway, one of the German fleet's most powerful cruisers is posing a new threat. Oil has begun leaking from the rusting wreck of the Blucher, which went down in 1940 with the loss of 1,000 lives. The vessel is lying at the bottom of the Oslo Fjord in 260 feet of water. Underwater surveys show the wreck of the once great German battleship is now in a perilous condition. Its armour plating, three inches thick, has rusted to little more than a powder. Even from its grave, the Blucher is a threat, but this time to the environment of Oslo Fjord, as oil spews from its tanks. When it was launched in 1937, the Blucher was a very different kind of threat. The 14,000 ton vessel, armed with eight inch guns, was the latest in naval technology. It carried a crew of 1,400, supplemented in April 1940 with invasion troops. As the German flotilla made a daring run to reach Oslo, the Blucher was hit repeatedly by fire from shore batteries. It went down with a loss of a thousand lives. The setback to the German invasion was crucial. It allowed King Haakon to flee Oslo to London to lead the Norwegian resistance. Now surveys with remotely controlled underwater robots show that the Blucher is spilling at least 50 litres of oil a day and holds another 1,200 tonnes that could leak any time. The director of the Norwegian Anti-Pollution Agency says the Blucher is breaking up with the risk of widespread damage to wildlife along the fjord. Today oil booms were shipped to the town of Drobak to contain any major spill. Ironically, it was from Drobak that the shells that sank the Blucher were fired. <laughs> 